Hi guys, so right now I have two new, um, two brand new duct tape logs. One of them I made yesterday, but I didn't really have the time to record it because it was really late. And one of them I actually just finished making. And so the one I made yesterday, is, I already showed the type of it, just I used different duct tape. It is another accordion wallet. Here it is with all of my money, my, my change, and two cards in it. So here it is. I made it Christmas themed since obviously it's the Christmas season. And so you open it, and then here it is. It has my money right here, and then a Ziploc pouch in the middle for coins. And then right here it has two cards. So there's the accordion wallet I made yesterday. And the wallet I made right now turned out way better than I expected it to be. It closes pretty well without Velcro, and it's actually really, really thin. So here it is. Here is what it looks like on the outside. It's red, and it has Avengers duct tape through the middle. Um, I did not make this all out of Avengers duct tape and then put red trim around it. I actually made it all out of red and then just got a strip of Avengers duct tape and put it down the middle. And so in here, it has actually, hold on, let me get a card from my wallet. Okay. So in here, it has one. Or no, I'm just going to show you that how it fits. I didn't really trim it, but it fits in the card holder. And it has... Oh, oops, got stuck. Okay. It has one, two, three of them. And then right here, there is an, a clear ID holder. There it is. And that turned out really good because I found this plastic that I had. I don't even know where I got it. I just found it in the school supplies box that my mom has. And then, I bet you guys think that that's it. But underneath the ID holder is a secret pocket. See, my card is gone now. Underneath the ID holder is a secret pocket, and this turned out very well, because actually you can't tell that it's there at all. And so here, oh, and then there's the money holder. And then right here, there's sticky showing, and my bills kept getting stuck in it. So what I did is I got a piece of tape and put it over it. And so, yeah, here's my wallet. As you can see, it kind of, it, or if, it, if I just crease it really well, it kind of closes pretty good without Velcro. But, yeah, so this turned out way better than I expected. So it has an ID holder right here, a secret pocket back here. And then one, two, three card holders, the money holder, and then the Avengers strip on the background. So thank you guys for watching. Both these walls turned out very good. Well, I already made one of these walls, but why I think this wallet turned out so awesome is because how the pockets turned out, the trim turned out pretty straight, and so did the trim on the ID holder, and then the secret pocket turned out good. And I like how I put a piece of clear tape right here because my bills kept getting stuck. And the best part about this wallet that probably makes it one of my favorites is that it's super thin. Like, hold on. I'm going to put all of my stuff in there. I'm going to see how thin it really is. So this is all of my money. Well, most of it is in the bank account. This is all of my money I have on me. So there's my money. Oh, hold on. I can't. Oops, hold on. Okay, there's all my money in there. And then I'll put, I only have two cards. So I'll put two cards in here. Oh, I'll put one in the ID holder. And then I will put my Disney dollar that I got from Disneyland in the secret pocket. And so now I have all my stuff in here. When I close it, oh, well, well dollar came out, that's why it's probably not going to close too well. And then I close it, bam, that's how thick it is. I just put a piece of broker on it, but thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, so goodbye. Whoops, hold on. Okay, goodbye.